Hello viewers, welcome to another video. In this video, we will going to show you how to use animated components in the Proteus to build a schematic. The advantage of adding animated component in your schematic is that your schematic would look more interactive and also it would help you in understanding which part of your circuit is working properly. So let us start by adding the animated components by clicking component mode and press P. Here in the keywords you have to write animated. So the search results will open all the components named starting with animated. So first of all we will add an animated LED. Double click the component to add into the component list. And then we need an animated relay. Next is we need to add a DC motor. Click OK. Now first of all, select VSource. I have also added an animated jumper. This will work as a switch. Then add a resistor, which will be in series with the animated LED. And this is a relay. And finally, you need a DC motor. Okay. Now, let's set the parameters of each component. I will be using 5 volt DC source. And 330 ohm resistor in series with an LED. Now in order to energize the relay, we need to set the coil voltage equal to 5 volts if you are using 5 volt DC supply. We need another voltage source in order to power up the DC motor. Here you go, under the generator, you will find a DC source. Connect it to the common terminal and from the open terminal of the relay connect one end of the DC motor and now let's start connecting all the components with each other. What I am doing, I am turning LED on and energizing the relay at the same time. Therefore, I have connected relay and LED in parallel to each other. Now, the last thing you need is the ground, which you will find in the terminal mode. One ground for this circuit and one ground for the DC motor. Now, again, we need to set the voltage of DC motor. The nominal voltage of the DC motor is 12 volts. So for the DC source, set the voltage to 12 volts. So what happens when this relay is energized, the normally open contact will become normally closed and this voltage source is then connected to the DC motor and DC motor will start running. Now our circuit is now complete. Let's simulate and see how the animated components look. As you can see here, since I have not pressed the jumper, therefore the LED is not glowing and relay is not energizing. Let's press the jumper and you can see 
the LED starts glowing and you can see a clear movement of this relay contact. And this is the beauty of animated relay. Now you are absolutely sure that your relay is energized and your load is running. Now when I again press the jumper, the jumper will open and both the LED and the relay is de-energized. Here you can see the motor completely stops. So this is how you can add animated components in order to make your schematic more interactive and more understandable. I hope you like this video. For more interesting videos, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.